Well, welcome. My name is John Grenz. I have the privilege of serving as the Dean of the School of Ministry, and I have brought some of my friends here, some of my colleagues in the School of Ministry, and uh, just to answer some of the questions that people might have about PBA and about the School of Ministry. So thank you for joining us. The first thing I would like to ask is, you know, PBA is, is a Christian university. It's labeled a Christian university. So what do we believe about our Christian faith? And when it comes to different theological issues, what do we believe? Mike, why don't you start with, with this question? One of the things I love about PBA is in every meeting we have, we hear the statement, we are a Christ first university. And that is central to what we're about. We have a high view of, of the Lord Jesus. And I remember when I was first interviewed, we, I was asked, do I believe in the inerrancy of the Bible? And we're a part of a faculty of school of ministry that we all hold to that important perspective of an inerrancy of the scripture. So we have a high view of scripture, a high view of Christ, and that drives our theological understandings. You know, one of the things I like is that um, because PBA is kind of broadly evangelical, we have students in our classes that come from a lot of different backgrounds and perspectives on theological questions, but uh, the classroom kind of creates a space where people can discuss and bring ideas, try ideas out. Sometimes we all agree and a lot of times we have some differences, but um, we have that commonality of being a Christ first institution and, and basing what we believe about God and about creation and the world and ourselves on, uh, on scripture. So I think that's a really important part of being PBA. Yeah, I think when I think of that question, the two phrases that sort of jump out are the Christ first aspect, that this is our identity, that we're passionate about Christ, we're passionate about seeing how um, all of the academic disciplines that we study integrate into uh, theology and who is Christ. And then I also think like this big tent evangelicalism, that we, that we have people from all the different traditions in the Christian faith. And that really helps, I think, in the classroom because, you know, we, we have to be honest with each other and it keeps us honest with each other and we can't straw man people. And, and, and I think that makes for a really rich environment, actually, uh, because of all the wealth of traditions. Uh, I think we get the full picture of the beauty of Christ, the beauty of the church, and the beauty of the gospel. One of the things I love about PBA is the fact that students come to PBA with different backgrounds and uh, levels of understanding of scripture and, and their own faith. And our goal isn't necessarily to indoctrinate them into a faith, but really to help them understand what they believe at a deeper level so that they feel secured to have dialogue with one another, even when there's differences in that maybe theological understanding. And so, so at the end of the day, they know what they believe, they have an idea what others believe, and they can share in that relationship with charity and love and respect and have that, that dialogue. So I, I really do think that that's the environment, uh, the Christian environment that we hope to have here at PBA. You know, when we think about PBA, then we think about the School of Ministry as well. And oftentimes, you know, people understand what we do in the School of Ministry is preparing pastors. Uh, that's not necessarily our, our mission, right? We, we don't just prepare pastors. Our mission is to equip men and women to be leaders with the, the knowledge, skills, and character necessary for lifelong ministry. And that oftentimes people think it's just ministry to be a pastor. Uh, Paul, how would you respond to that? Yeah, I mean, I think it flows from this idea of a Christ first university. Um, what that leads us to is sort, sort of to reject this secular sacred split. And so we really view all of life as under the banner of Christ. And so whether we're called into ministry, vocations like pastoring, or we're called into business or medicine or history or law or the entertainments or the arts, all these things are, are things that we want to help our students um, learn to serve God in whatever context that they've called them to. And so I think that the School of Ministry is incredibly strategic at a Christian university because we're helping students integrate their faith with whatever academic discipline and whatever calling they have so that, so that they can live a faithful life under Christ. Kathy, you've been uh, leading the biblical studies and the theological studies at, in the School of Ministry. How would you respond with uh, like, oh, a major in the School of Ministry is only for pastors? Well, I think uh, all we need to do is look at our classrooms and see that we have lots of students going in lots of different directions, uh, which is enriching for our discussion. Um, but I think that uh, for for any Christian moving into whatever vocational space they're planning to move into, or even when they don't know what that vocational space looks like yet, 
uh, a, found, a really strong foundation in uh, biblical knowledge and theological knowledge and understanding cultures from the aspect of, um, you know, of, of these cultures and these people are all created in God's image. And how do we, uh, how do we best relate to uh, people in all different walks of life? That, that that foundation can be really ba valuable for uh, countless um, vocations and decisions and conflicts uh, that come down the road. That is, is, sometimes we don't know that they're coming, but that preparation is really important. I think a lot of times I'll talk to students who are really, they feel like they're at a crisis trying to choose a major. Uh, and that sometimes it feels, I think, like if you choose a major, it locks you into one thing for the rest of your life. But all of us and many of our students have realized that, you know, God prepares us in ways that we don't even understand hmm. as, as we begin. And often what that looks like is taking one step forward at a time as God leads. So I think that our classrooms and our conversations are enriched by people who feel lots of different callings from God. Mike, you're, you're involved in the intercultural studies program. How, how would you respond to that question of, it is only for pastors. Hey. Well, it, here at PBA, and of course, especially in the School of Ministry, we would hold that um, under the Lordship of Christ, every square inch of culture and this world belongs to the Lord Jesus. And so every aspect of uh, vocation uh, doesn't have to be just ministry only, but in the School of Ministry, we prepare students to be involved in, in all aspects of culture, especially in cross-cultural settings where we're moving out of our American culture uh, working with different cultural uh, settings. And so we, we can celebrate the fact that we are certainly preparing some for pastors, but we're also preparing students in the School of Ministry to be ready to serve under the Lordship of Christ in bringing His glory among all cultures and every diversity in culture. You know, Paul says that um, the ministry that Christians have is a ministry of reconciliation. And so that is needed in every sphere of life and yet that reconciliation is uh, fueled and motivated by um, our relationship with Christ. Very good. Yeah, we, uh, having been involved in ministry leadership studies, you know, it, it is very, can be very focused on being in a church context, but what we found is that our students take that knowledge and skill that they develop and they take it all over in different types of jobs after they leave PBA. So it's not just a church kind of degree, and none of our majors are really just a church degree, um, but really is a degree that lays a foundation that you develop knowledge and skills, whether that's critical thinking and other ways to enter into whatever kind of vocation that God calls you to, and you can thrive and grow and have impact, uh, not just for a career, but also for the kingdom. And I think that's really important. The other question we often get is, why should I come to PBA to study in the School of Ministry? What makes the, the School of Ministry unique uh, for my experience? So what? how would you respond to that question? Uh, now, I'll, Kathy, I'm going to start with you. Uh, I would say that the unique thing about PBA is the relationships that are developed. Our class size is such that uh, all the students know each other in class. The professors know the students' names. Uh, we know, you know where they're going to church and uh, we have the opportunity to share lives together and support one another. So that means grieving together, but also celebrating together and providing connections to one another. So I would say that the relationships that develop are uh, are really precious at PBA and that they have given the School of Ministry a particular strength, both for students during their time here and then also as they go on to other places, those connections continue. And one of the advantages I think of the School of Ministry is that relationship that begins even with the faculty of the School of Ministry. There is a fantastic chemistry among the faculty where uh, we're just family and we really love each other very much and we are very close. And I'm, I see this passion from the faculty to love students and uh, every office of the faculty has a student in there talking with them and helping them to walk through some decision, it's not always academic, it's sometimes very pastoral. They wanna transfer that passion to students, even by example of how the faculty is in, involved in local churches. Well, we're not just doing this as an academic exercise, but we all believe this so much. Everyone's involved in local church ministry and we wanna lead students to do the same. 
we highly emphasize how they should be involved as or here during their PBA career, involved in other ministry expressions in, in the local church. Yeah, I think the word, you said the word passion, and I think that's a perfect um, word to describe the school of ministry. You know, we're passionate about, uh, I, think, like, I teach philosophy, which is a strength in the school of ministry that we care about um, philosophy and apologetics and, you know, thinking about the philosopher as moved by this passion to pursue wisdom, right? And of course, we see this really tight connection between wisdom and, and Christ in whom are hidden all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. So there's this passion for wisdom, but I also sense, and I think the students catch this, is like there's this um, sense that God is doing something special here at PBA and in the School of Ministry. And so they're kind of entered into that world and, and built up in that and encouraged. And I think that that's, uh, in, the, in the relating, I've seen that's super encouraging to our students. And then really just passion for each other, um, whether it's the faculty and how we love each other, but also how we love and invite students not only to our offices, but into our homes and into our church life and, and our family life. And so that's, those are things that are, I think are unique um, to PBA that really make it a special, special place. One of the things that I often say is uh, we have great faculty, which a lot of schools have great faculty. We have great courses, which a lot of schools have great courses, but our location uh, provides such a rich like preparation. Uh, so students can be involved in not just in all these different local churches, but they can be involved in different um, with different people groups. We're so it's such a diverse area, South Florida is, with people from all over the world living here now uh, and and they have an opportunity to interact with them and on top of that is we're also uh, such a great launching uh, point uh, to the world so if you want to go and we've taken students down to South America we can be down in South America in four hour flight you know uh, or we take people uh, like Mike you know you take people to the Middle East you know and, and you're going there and you're doing work with just great opportunities and we have opportunity after opportunity to provide our students, not just with great classroom experience, but a great experience outside the classroom. That really shapes, shapes who they are becoming and prepares them for a world that is very diverse uh, and a world that is uh, just a harvest field that's ready to be harvested. So I, I think it's a great experience for our students. So we talked a little bit about experiences making PBA unique or the School of Ministry being unique. But in your opinion, what makes good education or ministry preparation? So Kathy, why don't you kind of start with this question? I think the integration is key to effective education for ministry preparation. You can know a lot of cool facts about the Bible. In fact, you could read the Bible cover to cover many times and still not really be prepared for ministry. So until you take knowledge that you might have, say, about the biblical text or skills that you have for interpreting and actually apply that in ministry, um, you haven't quite had a theological education yet. And so that's one of the things that PBA does well. Uh, we've talked about um, how, you know, students and faculty are all involved in their churches and in ministry. And so we're very interested and committed to helping students have that integrated experience where they're taking things that they learn in the classroom and then they're applying it in their own lives and in their own formation and then also uh, in the community in ministry. And in a multicultural world, the rigor of academic training in intercultural studies uh, gives the student the advantage of being able to use knowledge, skills, and character in cross-cultural settings as we live in this very multicultural world. And so needing global information and critical thinking skills and how to read culture, not from an American worldview, but from perspective of other cultures in order to connect and be effective in those places. And even here in the U.S., not just traveling other places, but how to interact with other cultures. So that academic rigor is so important in training for, for the future. One of the things that, you know, so I'm a philosopher and, you know, we ask questions or often, and one question that's super important here is like, what is a, the university for? And in, in many ways, the modern academy thinks that the university is for sort of the making of parts of things. So if you, you know, you want to make a good engineer or, or a good English writer or a good business person. But a more, a more classic view of that, of that uh, answer to that question is we want to make humanity itself. We want to make a good human being, a fully flourishing human being. And I think that that's the sort of perspective that PBA takes. And of course, we'll be most fully human when we are grounding our lives in the gospel. 
And so that translates in all these really interesting ways. Academic rigor, I think, is super critical, taking them to the edge of the discipline, showing them where the conversations are, are taking place. But beyond that, then there's this missional piece that we care deeply about. We care about the gospel and culture and, and apologetics and theology and scripture and integrating all of that. And then there's this like relational piece that, you know, that we want to have these sort of Christ-centered communities because we learn better, we become fully human uh, in community. That's how, what we're meant to, how we're meant to flourish. And so I think that, that answering that question, what is the university for? And we're, we're about the business of making humanity itself. And of course, to do that, we need to, to locate, locate our lives in, in Christ. So. Very good, very good. But I, I think, you know, adding to, to the, one of these things is this idea of being multidisciplined, like all of our programs, it's not just a deep dive into one area. So we do do deep dives, but it's the inner interaction with other disciplines. So like in ministry leadership, it's not just Bible and theology, but we also interact with what are the best practices in leadership. And we not just accept everything that comes out of a business a leadership book, but that we look at it critically from the biblical perspective, theological perspective, and say, is that, you know, accurate? Is that right? And should we be applying that? And that that interaction really is a, a thoughtful um, uh, interaction. Well, thank you for sharing your thoughts on these questions. And I wanna encourage you, if you have further questions about Palm Beach Atlantic University, to reach out to your admissions counselor or reach out even to, to us in the School of Ministry. And we have an email address that uh, I would encourage you, I'm giving you my email address. If you have questions, especially about the School of Ministry, and if I don't know the answer, I will connect you with someone who does. And uh, we look forward to having that connection and sharing more about Palm Beach Atlantic University, as well as the School of Ministry. So thank you.